And now to the other big story of the day, the Navy's investigation into last night's shooting. Two people are dead, a sailor and a civilian gunman, and still a lot of unanswered questions. Ten of your side broke this story just before the start of Wavy News 10 today, five hours after it happened on Pier 1 at Naval Station Norfolk. This is the only angle where you can make out a scene. This is thanks to Chopper 10. We had to zoom in tightly because the Navy restricted the airspace around the base this morning. Shooting briefly forced a lockdown, which has been lifted. Our live coverage starts with Andy Fox at Naval Station Norfolk. And Andy, you got an update from the base commander this afternoon. What else have you learned about what happened? Yeah, well, we also found out this afternoon that the NCIS is now reporting they have completely uh, finished their part of the investigation and have now handed it back over to the Navy. So we are expecting a lot more information to come out, hopefully, quickly. The commanding officer here at the base did talk with reporters, took some questions, but there are a lot more answers that needed, a lot more questions that needed to be answered. Chopper 10 shows Pier 1 and USS Mahan tied up on the left. The suspect gained access to Pier 1 and made his way down the pier to the brow of the Mahan. He climbed the gangplank and stepped onto the ship. Naval Station Norfolk Commanding Officer Captain Robert Clark. The suspect approached the Mahan's quarterdeck and was confronted by ship security personnel. A struggle ensued and the suspect was able to disarm the petty officer of the watch. A brave sailor responded to help the petty officer. He was shot and killed. Naval security forces then killed the suspect. I want to be clear that the suspect did not have his own weapon. Captain Clark says the suspect had credentials to enter the pier, but was likely not a dependent. Not with the credentials that he had, not, not likely a dependent. It was, a, it was someone who worked on the installation. At a previous time, I don't know exactly the details, though. Captain Clark would not say more about that, but we asked about clearance to the pier versus clearance to the ship. He had security clearance to the pier. Does that also give him clearance to the ship? If you, if you can get onto the installation with his credentials, it can get you on, down to the pier. That is correct. So what happened then, yes, onto the pier, but then does he have credentials to get onto the ship? Um, that I do not know, not necessarily with the cards that he had, but it enabled him to get onto the installation. Yeah, so you can see the process that we're going through to try to get as much information as possible. I want to point out that the NCIS is continuing the investigation. They are done at the pier, but they continue the investigation along with the Navy, and we are all hoping, hoping to get a lot more answers quickly. That's the latest from my side here at the base. Guys, back to you. All right, Andy Fox reporting live from Naval Station Norfolk.